which way do I want to go? I think I want to go this way. Yes, I do. Because we are on the third floor. We are on the other side of that, uh, that gate. That little girl kicked the key away from us. Now we have the fire escape key. And what do we have here? Handgun bullets. We will take those, thank you. And we will take that. Nothing interesting in the newspaper. I can kind of see a picture there. Might be a Time magazine. But let's get out of here before the monsters get us. And stomp. Never bother anyone ever again. Gonna run by you. We're actually on the other side of the apartments right now. We've got some canned juice. A six pack of canned juice. It was in the hallway on the first floor. Well, unfortunately, we don't get to drink any of that. of interest over here. Well, we have unlocked the right side of the apartments. But just in time to go back to the left side. So we have two sets of keys that we can use. But we also have this big, heavy uh, container of juice. What can we do with a big, heavy six-pack of juice? Well, we could drop it down a garbage chute. Looks like the garbage stuck in the dust chute has fallen through. And why would we do something silly like that? Well, pretty simple, actually. Because the trash collects outside. The garbage bag is torn and the contents are strewn all over. We got a coin, old man. What's this? Some gossip magazine, eh? The police announced today that Walter Sullivan, who was arrested on the 18th of the month for the brutal murder of Billy Locaine and his sister Miriam, committed suicide in his jail cell earlier on the morning of the 22nd. According to the police statement, Sullivan used a soup spoon to stab himself in the neck, severing his carotid artery. By the time the guard discovered him, Sullivan was dead from blood loss, the spoon buried two inches in his neck. An old schoolmate of Walter Sullivan's from his hometown of Pleasant River said, He didn't look like the type of guy who would kill kids. But I do remember that just before they arrested him, he was blurting out all sorts of strange stuff like, He's trying to kill me. He's trying to punish me. The monster. The red devil. Forgive me. I did, but it wasn't me. The schoolmate then added, I guess now that I think of it, he was kind of crazy. 
Yeah, that sounds a little strange. Some sort of horrible red monster chasing you around, trying to punish you for something? Alright. Oh, we have the coin. Let's take a look at the coin. Well, it looks like there's an old man on it. That coin is going to be important real soon. Come on, James. Alright, cannonball! We're in the pool. We're surrounded by patient demons. And there's a, a baby carriage. Right, we're not going to hang out in here. I'm just going to let you guys sit there and stew. Stew in the pool. Getting a little beat up. Oh, we should look at our new coin. A large coin imprinted with a snake. I found it in the pool with no water. Hi there. Alright, can I run past you? I'm gonna try. Oh, I hear something. Ugh, sounds like somebody's not doing well. Oh, yeah, talking about somebody not doing well. What the? Who could have done this? Like somebody dropped a fridge on someone. Uh, and what's this? Another person. We're up to three. We're up to three people we've met so far. You know, if this was a more modern game, that's a point where it would have froze, and it would have said his name across the bottom, and given you, like, tidbits about his personality, or something silly like that. Yep, that's another Eddie. Who's that dead guy in the kitchen? I didn't do it. I swear I didn't kill anybody. You're not friends with that red pyramid. Red pyramid thing. I don't know what you're talking about. Honest. And I did see some weird looking monsters. They scared the hell out of me. So I ran in here. Well, I guess this place isn't too safe either. What happened here anyway? Uh, I, I told you, I don't know. I'm not even from this town. I just, I just... <sighs> you too, huh? Something just brought you here. So that's Eddie. Poor guy is puking his guts out in the bathroom over here. We can actually go back and say hello, see how he's doing. Not doing great. Eddie, are you okay? Yeah, I guess. But there's another room over here to check out. 
walls covered with football posters and meaningless graffiti. I could care less about either of them. Yeah, I'm kind of in the same boat as you, James. Not big on football either. Looks like stick figures of two people. Maybe a guy and a girl. Nothing to say about it, though. Alright, let's get out of here. No, not in the closet. Alright, run by you. Nope, not getting in there. Or in there. Ah, there you are. Heard you stomping around. Sightseeing brochure for the town is lying here. Welcome to Silent Hill. Silent Hill, a quiet little lakeside resort town. We're happy to have you. Take some time out of your busy schedules and enjoy a nice restful vacation here. Row after row of quaint old houses, a gorgeous mountain landscape, and a lake which shows different shade, different sides of its beauty with the passing of the day from sunrise to late afternoons to sunset. Silent Hill will move you and fill you with a feeling of deep peace. I hope your time here will be pleasant and your memories will last forever. Editor Roger Widmark Well, I, I would say that the memories I have of Silent Hill will, will stay with me until the end of time. They're not all pleasant memories, though. In fact, at this point, I would say there are more negative memories than there are pleasant memories. But you know what? I'm going to try to try to keep those pleasant ones in mind. Well, we are making our way back through the room with the clock because we have one more key to use. Ooh, the music in there didn't sound nice. Hey, you. made our way to the fire escape, so let's check it out. That's not a fire escape. There's no fire escape outside the door. Maybe they knocked it down when they built the next building. I think I can get into the building next door if I go through the window in front of me. Yeah, be, be careful, James. Now, I wonder if there are codes against that sort of thing. Building buildings too close to each other like that. Or maybe it's just Silent Hill being horrible and creepy and just pulling the buildings closer together. It looks like there's something stuck inside the toilet. All right, James, you know what? Uh, if you really want to do this, I won't stop you. That's the third time you stuck your hand in some place potentially dangerous and disgusting. It looks like a wallet. There's some kind of memo in it. Okay, now this memo here is actually a code. 
and I have my notepad in front of me, and I wrote down the code the last time I played, but it's different this time. This is just one of those things where the password is going to be different each time we play it. So I'm writing this down, so I'll be able to just look at it whenever I need. And the truth is, we're just going to use it real soon. Because it's the code that is safe. Now, I've always had trouble with safes. Let's see if I can get this right. 17. 2. 7. And 4. I got it right. And our reward is a whole bunch of handgun bullets. I'll take that health drink. Uh, no, let's leave you alone. And now we have the map for the Blue Creek Apartments. Which, if you look at the map, is just the west side of the building. I hope that's all of the map. Oh, time to start exploring. Um, I hear the telltale signs of big bugs. There's a mannequin. It wasn't worth coming this way. about over here? Uh, what do you see, buddy? Light chrism. A glass bottle containing milky white anointing oil. Now, white chrism is actually a special item that you get when you go through a new game plus. It is one of four, I think it's four items, yeah, four items that you need to, to uh, get one of the special endings, and hopefully I'll be able to show that to you. Nothing in the bookshelf that looks like it would be of any use. There is this hutch over here, but we're going to leave that alone for just a few minutes. Take that first aid kit. Leave them bugs alone. Don't need to bother with them. stuffed animal and probably belonged to the kid that used to live here. And that's kind of sad. Poor kid rather stuffed animal. Ah, and there's the lady we met in the cemetery earlier. Oh, it's you. Yeah, I'm James. Angela. Angela, 
Okay. All right, now she takes the time to I introduce herself. Planning, but there's always another way. Just to run. Besides, is what we deserve. No, I'm not like you. Are you afraid? I. I'm sorry. It's okay. Did you find your mother? Not yet. She's not anywhere. Did she live in this apartment building? I don't know. So, all you know is she lived in this town. What did you say? How do you know that? Well, I just figured, because this is where you're looking for her. How else would I know? Yeah. Am I right? I'm so tired. So, why did you come to this town anyway? I... I'm sorry. Did... did you find the person you're looking for? Not yet. Her name's Mary. She's my wife. I, I'm sorry. It's okay. Anyway, she's dead. I don't know why I think she's here. She's dead? Don't worry. I'm not crazy. <laughs> At least. I don't think so. Uh, I've got to find my mama. Should I go with you? This town's dangerous. Now I know what you meant back there in the cemetery. I'll be okay by myself. Besides, I'd just slow you down. What about that? Will you hold it for me? Sure. No problem. If I kept it, I'm not sure what I might do. Yeah, poor Angela doesn't seem like she's well. Then again, James doesn't seem like he's too well either. But we've got her knife. And her knife is not a weapon. You don't use it to fight. It's just an item that you carry around. And depending on what you do with it over the course of the game, it could affect the ending you get. But we're going to take a look at this coin here. This is the prisoner coin, and the prisoner looks like a woman. Actually, it kind of looks like um, one of those statues of justice where they got the blindfold on. Let's reload our gun. Heal ourselves real quick. There is something else to check out in here. A photo. It's a torn photo. It looks like... Uh, Looks like it might have been a family, and you know, the father has been ripped out, separate from the mother and and the kid. And this big mirror over here. Magazines on the floor, nothing unusual here. A big map of the United States. And that's alright, we got what we came here for. One of those three coins. I'll leave you alone. Not that one. Not this one. There we go. Now 
There's that hutch. There's something written on the desk. Three bite coins and five holes be. At one end sits the seducer of she. The wind from behind the woman doth play. The formless one, null, lies furthest from bay. The old one beside the serpent sits not. Tis to the prisoner's left that he does rot. There's a line of five one-inch round depressions set into the table. All right, well, this is Silent Hill's, let's say, infamous uh, coin puzzle. From that poem that we just read, we have to figure out where to put these different coins. Well, we know that the serpent is over by itself, farther away from everyone. And we also know that behind the woman, the wind is blowing. So it's empty behind her, and if you see, she kind of looks like she's looking off to the left. And the old man sits to her left. All right, we got it right. Now we have the Lynn House key. I remember reading a novelization of this game that uh, someone had wrote for fun. And when they got to this part of the story, instead of having James solve the puzzle, they just had James stomp the crap out of this hutch. Just, just stomp it into the ground. He was like, I am having nothing to do with this puzzle. And just broke it and got the key out that way. And I think that's just a nice way to summon up everyone's frustration for that particular little puzzle. And that poem is different depending on which uh, riddle difficulty we pick. All right. It was in the coin puzzle desk. The tag on it says Lynn. Well, don't let that confuse you. It's actually not a key to a house. It's a key to a, the apartment. And the apartment, I think, is just up on the floor above us. Anything in there? Nope. Use the Lynn House key. Now, there is a note on here, but I don't think we can read it, because we've already gone and got the, uh, the key. The note reads something like, Oh, I'm sorry, we're not home. The key is in, in your uncle's house. You can just go down there and get it. Ooh, I hear stump something that sounds like whispering. I don't think I've ever mentioned this, but I'm actually playing this with headsets on. This is the first time I've ever done this. I've never played any of the Silent Hill games with headsets on even though it's uh, it's suggested that you do that. So I'm experiencing some, some things for the first time. And now we have the apartment stairwell key. Well, we're not getting out this way. What we are going to do is save. In fact, this is probably one of the most important points to save, because we're going to take on our first boss real soon. And this boss, no matter what level of difficulty you're playing on it, has a one-hit kill attack. Now, it's just a quick little walk back to where we want to be, and then we're going to be all done with the apartments. Alright, run past this mannequin. Get the heck out of here. And there's Triangle Man, who obviously hates Person Man. And it's boss fight time. Now, this boss fight 
can be easy or difficult depending on a number of different circumstances. That's mostly going to be how well you can maneuver around him. He has a couple of different ways that he attacks. He does that sort of underhand swing you saw right there. But he has a really strong overhand swing. When I say strong, I mean it will automatically kill you. If he gets close enough, he'll grab you with his free hand and start strangling you as his tongue comes out of his head to attack you more. That's a hard one to get. Right now, we just have to keep running around, taking shots at him, until eventually, he can't take it anymore. But get stuck. Oh, there's the overhand swing, which auto-tracks, by the way. Okay, you may hear the siren going off. That means the fight is over and he is leaving. Good riddance to you. Now be careful, don't get too close to him, because he will take another swing at you, which can kill you. He's walking down in that mucky water. Doesn't matter to him in the least bit. Oh, and for anybody who's interested, uh, if you just ran around the room not taking shots at him, he would eventually just get bored and leave, but fighting with him speeds that up.